All right, so um, it's Memorial Day weekend 2018, and I'm going to try to catch up on some projects. And one of the projects that's been on my, my list is um, re-soling my uh, hard sole plain styles moccasins here um, that I made some years ago. And as you can see, they're kind of, there's a lot of wear and tear on them because I do use them, I do wear them when, I'm, uh, when I go to the woods and stuff. Um, and uh, the, the, these are buckskin uh, uppers here, and then these are three quarter length here. And then I have a, a lanyard that ties around. I haven't done a video on these yet because I don't have any buckskin. Um, and there's plenty of videos. Just look up um, Plains uh, Indian or Native American style hard soles moccasins. Hard sole moccasins. Um, there's, there's a video out there that's a really, really good on um, breaking down how to make a pair like this. Um, <clears throat> and it uses, I'm using, um, traditionally it would be raw hide. You might not be able to see this, but this is vegetable, I'm using vegetable tan cow hide, which is pretty thick. Problem is, is that it's also pretty slick. Um, so if you're wearing these out, you know, you j just, you know, even in the house on a slick floor, you can slip and break your neck. Um, uh, even in the woods on the, in the, on the grass. Um, I guess the terrain uh, in the uh, southwest and in the west is a little bit more rockier and stuff. But here in the midwest it's a little bit more lush and green. And so it's real easy to, to slip on the... Um, uh, on a hill or something like that. So what I've done to add to the durability and to create some traction is um, I've created liquid sole um, and I didn't create it, it's actually I got, got the idea someplace else um, and really what it is is it's, is it's, is it's um, heavy duty uh, barge cement uh, which is basically a heavy duty uh, rubber cement and this is good for leather working and actually for uh, shoe making and then um, I've got powdered, powdered tire shavings or powdered uh, rubber, um, and I'm gonna put uh, links uh, below so that you can uh, get your own if you want to procure it. Um, I've got like a, I don't know, like a six-pound bag here some years ago, and I've got, I've got um, you know, my muck luck making video. Um, I pull it out and show you how to fix it together and put it together. Uh, the place where I got this from is from Douglas and Sturgis. Um, Douglas and Sturgis uh, tire shavings is what this is called. And you know, for real cheap, they sent me like a, a, a six-pound bag, so it's more than I can ever need. Um, I mean, I guess if I was doing making moccasins commercially, then I'd probably need a lot more. But at any rate, this is really really good stuff because once you mix it together, uh, it forms this really kind of nice like rubber sole then sole uh, and you can layer it and you can make it as thick as you want um, it does provide some really good traction uh, that then it doesn't and it doesn't um, sacrifice any stealthiness if you're trying to if you use if you you're wearing a pair of moccasins or treated uh, socks uh, for hunting in that and again yeah you could do some felted projects you could make some socks and you just mask out your area or you mask out the treads that you want and they just smear the sole on there and then uh, let it harden uh, for a, about a day or two. Um, here I've already got uh, my other moccasin. Here I've already attached or applied the uh, liquid sole here and it's kind of tacky to the touch. Um, and I'm just kind of smashing it down here uh, just to kind of form and shape it. But these moccasins, like I said, as you can tell, there's a lot of wear and tear in these. And the sole is coming up, as you can see here. And so um, I want to re I need to resole these um, to make them last. Because like I said, I, can't, I don't have enough uh, material to make another yet. Another pair yet. Uh, so I'm just going to walk through briefly how I'm going to resole these. Nothing real elaborate. It's pretty simple. Um, all I'm doing is I'm taking a plastic bag and some duct tape. And I'm masking out the area so I can protect the the rest of the the, the shoe, and um, and then I'm just basically using a butter knife and smearing on the uh, sole here. So um, what I'm gonna do next is I got a little container here from the hardware store. You'll need that. I've got a butter knife. You know, plastic or something disposable would be best. Uh, one thing about this barge cement is that it is kind of noxious as, a, as as far as a smell or chemical smell 
Um, I believe it's flammable as well. So work in a ventilated place. Uh, if you're choosing to work it, work with this. Also, as you can see, I got a tarp down uh, so I don't get anything on my carpet, and I've got my table covered. Uh, so uh, just some some precautions there as you're working with this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a plastic bag and I'm going to um, mask out this uh, this moxin. Okay, so uh, what I do is I just take a regular uh, plastic bag from the store and I like to cut off the handles because you really won't need it and they kind of get in the way. You could fold them down if you want, but I just prefer to cut them off. It's more easier, more easy. Um, and then you basically take your shoe or the moxin and um, just tuck it in the bag. Really, really pretty straightforward. And make sure everything that I don't want to have a liquid sole on, I'm gonna uh, cover. And so basically the next thing is I'm gonna take some duct tape and just underneath, or just next to the welt here, or underneath the welt is where I'm gonna apply my duct tape, okay? All the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, so, so as not to take up too much time. But one thing to keep in mind is I got a piece of duct tape here. And you know, real good duct tape is really tacky. And if you're worried about um, getting uh, this, the glue or the tackiness onto your, your moccasin or your shoe or whatever, you want to take the tackiness off oftentimes by just kind of uh, pulling it on and off of a piece of fabric to lift up some of the tackiness. So that, that will help as a tip um, to keep you from uh, ruining your, um, your shoe. But I'm not that concerned with these because I wear these all the time. The tackiness will go away over time as I, as I wear them. But I'm just trying to see if I can get another year or two out of these. All right, so I have this moccasin uh, masked out and, and protected. And uh, next, what I want to do is I have the old sole here that's coming up, right? I want to cut this off. Put all the, the stragglers and kind of clean up the clean up the edges all the way around. Um, yeah, so but these stayed on there pretty good. It's it's on there. It's durable. And trust me, I've I've, I've used these a lot and they work really good. This uh, liquid sole works extremely good. So I've taken my my scissors here and I've just cut the uh, loose parts off. Um, and what I want to do is be able to take some of that liquid sole and kind of work it in, work it in and underneath the areas that have lifted up, and then cover everything. Uh, before we do that, let's gonna mix up. We're gonna mix up, bleh, mix up some liquid sole. Um, and so, like like I said, uh, you know, use if you choose to do this, use a disposable containers and disposable things, because it, it will ruin any surface that you don't want to have covered with this concoction. Um, so like I said, I just got this little tray here from the hardware store. I got plenty of butter knives, so I'm not really concerned about this. Plastic knife would work as well, um, or a spatula, uh, something like that. Um, and then I don't really have a ratio um, as to how much tire shavings to uh, a glue, uh, but what you want is the consistency of peanut butter all right so we'll just kind of use that as a rule of thumb and uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit more this is already mixed up but I'm add a little bit more just to make it easier to spread and smear it's not too difficult to work with at all so yeah once you and um, I go through the whole process of actually soling um, uh, the bottom of mucklucks uh, when I make a pair of mucklucks I you know, since I'm in the city, uh, oftentimes they the bottom of mucklucks traditionally aren't sold. Um, but in the city, you know, you go to go to the store or something, you'd be able to break your neck um, coming in out of the snow and onto the linoleum, um, end up on your back. So I, I add liquid sole to them just for the practicality of being in the urban environment. All right, so 
<clears throat> got this here, and I've already kind of got a gap here. I want to take my uh, liquid sole here, and just kind of want to start to kind of shove that in there and work that in there. So it'll spread like peanut butter if you mix it correctly. That's the areas there, and kind of start to work it around. And then let's see the other one, the other big gap is here. Oops, got a little bit on my finger. Is right here, so I'm gonna grab a nice glob here and kind of work that into the crease there. So I think this is kind of cool stuff. I mean, like I said, you could take a nice thick pair of wool socks and you know turn them into like some pretty safe uh for indoors, of course, um, safe like house shoes or something. Um, you won't slip or slip and slide. And what I would do is I'd take some um, uh, like contact paper or even just masking tape, cut out a pattern on the masking tape, kind of like treads or whatever pattern you want, and then just um, put uh, like a, a shoe form in there or fill it with newspaper, and then you can. Um, you can smear some of this liquid sole on the bottom and let it let it harden for a day, and then you have some uh, sh some socks with treads. So, so this is essentially it. It's really not that exciting, so I won't bore you with the whole process. But just to kind of get it started, this is kind of what's going on here. Um, and so I'm going to just put another layer of this liquid sole on here, and then let the let them let them dry. Alright, so I've got this pretty much smeared on here, and um, as this starts to dry, um, you can start to layer it on. So like I said, you can build up your sole um, to however thick you want it to. And what I would do is I'd probably take some tape and kind of build up a little frame around it so that I, or so that I can start packing the, um, the, the sole into uh, the, the form or the bottom of the, of the shoe. Um, but I don't I don't really need to do all that um, but just as a suggestion um, and then once you smear it on you can kind of pat it down you know as it starts to harden and then pretty soon once it becomes untacky not not tacky to the touch then you can start to kind of fold, fold it and kind of mold it and then it'll it'll dry hard so um, pretty much that's pretty much about it we'll just have to you know, put a little bit more on and, and smooth up the edges here, but um, we'll just let this dry overnight and then we'll cut these out and see how it turned out. All right, so it's about two days later uh, from the time I've resold my um, old uh, mocks here, and um, turned out pretty good. Um, they're they're hard because um, I wore these and then stuffed them with newspaper and um, let them dry in that way so that way it's easier for me to put my foot back in them and then um, they hold their shape and then also when you're applying liquid sole you want to make sure you have a form so you would want to stuff your moccasins or socks or whatever with newspaper or cloth or a form if you have one um, the one thing the reason why these are hard is because I chose the uppers from some buckskin that I had that didn't get uh, become completely soft so I, I utilized the fact that they were still pretty dense or almost close to rawhide to make uh, some pretty durable uppers. So that's another re reason why they're, they're pretty tough and pretty hard now. So this turned out okay. I'm happy with these. I'll slip these on in a second. Um, what I want to do now is basically just take this other one out. And really I just have to be careful and just kind of rip this, rip this off, rip the bag off and then uh, pull the the duct tape off of it so I'm gonna do that and see how these turned out also it's gonna be a good idea to have a pair of scissors uh, heavy-duty scissors particularly um, because you're gonna have some edges to snip all right so I'll basically just take these and just peel the, the tape back a quick snatch like so and um, <clears throat> again, what you'll have here is you'll have some rough edges here uh, that you'll 
that have bled over onto the tape, which is the reason why we masked in the first place. But we'll wanna we'll wanna uh, take some of these off, just snip them off and make it nice and, and even. So yeah, these turned out okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip these and then uh, try these on. All right, so <clears throat> here are the uh, moccasins resold on my feet. Sorry about the angle, and don't mind my uh, legs. <clears throat> um, but they turned out pretty well, and like I said, they're just a little bit more grippy. Otherwise, they would have slid uh, if these were just regular hard sold or raw hide sold. Um, and probably should get another couple of years out of these. Again, I only really wear them when I go out. Uh, to a state park or something like that, and I'm, I'm in in the bush. Um, and uh, the last time I went, um, I had to you know encounter some mud. It's not a big deal. I just brush that off. But yeah, they turned out pretty good.